Okay, so this is the fourth and final part here of doing a sort of noisy industrial sequence. Uh, Maths is still doing the same principal thing with the channel one end of rise going into channel four as both input and channel four's end of cycle going into channel one's both input. So whereas previously we had the shape output on the STO going into channel one of the maths, uh, it's now just going right into the optimix and the sign output from the STO is going into channel one on maths. And whereas the sum output was previously going into the first channel of the Optimix, it's now going into the exponential FM input on the STO. So now we have some sequencing coming into play, and I have the Doppler A193 handling these duties. Uh, I'm sending this little MIDI sequence you can see here from Ableton uh, right into the um, volt per octave input on the STO, uh, and it's also multed to the shape input, which just gives a kind of cool timbral layer to the sequencing. Uh, so let's uh, bring this in and hear what we have. So in terms of application compared to the Melody Ruiner patch, this one, for whatever reason, is just way more likely to give you a, a dirty sound than it is to lock on to any given pitch. The Melody Ruiner, it was a bit more likely it was actually gonna it was gonna work. Uh, in this case, it's it's gonna destroy 90% of the notes you fire at it. And this, like all things, is improved with just a touch of reverb and delay, so bringing those in. So a word of caution here that this one, um, this patch is, is very sensitive, so if you get something set up that you like, really try not to knock the knobs. The channel 2 and 3 pots on mass act almost as pitch controls here. So bringing down channel 2 kind of brings the whole thing down, and of course changing the whole tone as well. And likewise with bringing it up, again you can see I didn't make a big change there, so it's very sensitive. Channel 3 pretty much working the same way, so you can sort of pit them against each other. And this kind of benefits from uh, shaping a bit with some filtering. So the Optimix kind of tames things nicely here. So that'll do it for these little videos, and uh, hopefully this has been helpful, and thanks for watching.